All right, let's try this out. One take review with no upiclosy and no jump cuts. How about the Orion from Lost Vape? This thing, this thing is kind of an amazing little thing. It's uh, it's a little pod-ish type of system. It's got the airflow on top so that no matter how you grab it, you're never gonna be covering up the airflow, which I think is a fantastic thing. It's got a big plug right here for filling up your juice, huge plug. In fact, let's just fill up this juice uh, right now. If I could find the correct juice. See, this is what you get. This is what you get with, with a one take, one take review. So we're just gonna fill this up. I'm filling it up with uh, Strawberry Circus 5050 PGVG in a 12 milligram. And uh, what is kind of great about this thing is you can kind of do a mouth to lung and you can kind of do a uh, restricted lung all with the same unit thing. There's nothing weird you have to do. Um, I use my fingernail to adjust the airflow because it's just a little slot up here underneath your drip tip. Your drip tip is non-removable or at least, I mean, non-removable for for me i've never been able to get this out i feel like that's pretty well secure in there but i just take my fingernail and i open up the airflow 100 percent little button right here restricted lung feels real nice real good even that 12 milligram real nice it's not uh it's not too harsh or anything like that but what i found is you can close off the airflow you know till it's like uh a little hole like one singular little hole and you can kind of do some uh, kind of do some pretty solid mouth to lung with it I mean not not amazing mouth to lung but like still pretty solid mouth to lung it's pretty solid it's not my favorite mouth to lung it's a little bit more open you can close this airflow off if you want to even more the problem is the airflow is real glidey and it's real easy to adjust it which makes it also real easy to accidentally adjust it as well so close that airflow down me i don't know you know make sure it stays closed if you're doing some mouth to lung i've actually done mouth to lung with this like full open and it's still an okay mouth to lung experience but it really helps to close that airflow off to get a better mouth to lung off this thing Yeah, it's not. It's honestly not uh, a real bad mouth to lung as well. Even with that 12 milligram in there, still getting a nice throat hit. But honestly, I love this thing for the restricted lung hit. Open the airflow all the way up. I believe it's using ceramic coils on the inside, and it's a it's a pod. So there's a little uh, kind of release lever right here, which you're gonna push down. And that releases the pod. The pod is in there real secure, real secure, real secure, real secure. There's little connections at the front and then there's like rails and, and guides along the back where you're going to like click this back down into place. And it takes some amount of effort to like really, let's make sure everything's lined up. Let's put those tips in there. Oh, and then it snaps in. I mean, with authority with authority now there's a way that you can adjust the uh the power settings on this that i don't quite remember one two yeah it's what it's two one two no that's just green there's three different power settings to choose from there's high medium and low and i don't quite remember nope Nope, that's off. Okay, I'm just messing things up now. Okay, that's definitely off. Four, five. Okay, that's five on, five off. Right now mine's green, which I believe is the middle level. I think red is the highest, green, and then white. And it's three different power settings. And when you take a drag that you like, so... I really like that one. I'm going to hold down the replay button. The replay button's going to turn green. And now it's in replay mode and it's using the DNA replay mode. So it's going to reproduce the same vape that you took 
that you enjoyed that you programmed into the function by holding down that key. It's in replay mode, so it's going to remember the last drag you took, and it's going to try to replicate it every single time as far as like uh, uh, power and, and wattage go and, and how it feels and things like that. And yeah, replay mode works great, honestly. It's the same thing. It's going to replay the same thing over and over again. I like the size. I like how big it is. I don't know the exact milliamp hour. That was that, that's something that I would need to I would need to cut to. But you know what? We're not even going to do that. We're just going to open my Safari browser over here and we're going to look up Lost Vape Orion. We're going to read off some statistics here. They got it from Element Vape. It's an AIO all-in-one system it does come in a bunch of different colors this is the black with the abalone but they do like the gold i honestly the stainless steel and carbon fiber is probably like the coolest looking one stainless steel and carbon fiber gold and carbon fiber black and carbon fiber and then they do black stainless and gold with the abalone as well which it, it's classy dude it looks slick looks real real slick so uh internal 950 ma battery 950 ma internal battery which is pretty fantastic i mean that's better than uh, uh that's better than a majority of pod systems out there even bigger ish pod systems this has a rocking uh pretty rocking battery uh maximum wattage output is 40 watts replay function with the green light three power outputs low medium and high so yeah it's white blue and red uh intuitive led lights sure they're they're intuitive as intuitive as an led light can be three mil capacity on the tank each pod lasts about 400 puffs per pod proprietary pod cartridge installation 0.25 ohm stainless steel 316 pods okay and a 0 0.5 316 l pod so it's not ceramic it's stainless steel 316 which is interesting because i've been vaping this thinking it's ceramic but it is actually stainless steel 316 I, it didn't i thought it was ceramic but i had it in my head it didn't quite feel like a ceramic coil ceramic coil has a real i don't know different different feel to it but these are stainless steel 316 which which i mean which actually makes a lot of sense considering it is using temperature control it's using that replay function which is a temperature control function you can do temperature control with stainless steel 316. So yeah, micro USB port for charging. The micro USB, it's a little bit wonky to get to. There's kind of this little door on the bottom that you're gonna open up and it's attached by a, you know, a stretchy sort of rubber. It's the same thing as you would find on like the side of a camera or maybe like on a GoPro or something like that. And then you just put the little tab back in press it down and it creates the curvature of it. I think I would have liked it more if there was just a USB, micro USB exposed on the bottom. It would have been much easier for charging and things like that instead of opening up this little panel. It's just one extra step. And the first couple times I didn't, I didn't, you know, I did it. I didn't quite get the hang of how to open and close that little tab. But I mean, once you do it, it's fine. The only thing that's really difficult on this is getting that pod out of there. Um, everything else, I filled it up, it wicked correctly. I, I, you know, I put the pod in there. I adjusted my where I wanted it, and I, it vapes. It just vapes like crazy. Um, I get the feeling that this Lost Vape Orion is going to be something that is always, always, always going to be around. I like it that much. I like it a lot. I've taken it with me most everywhere I've gone. I even using a restricted lung hit, you don't really blow through this juice real quickly. Like it's not like a sub ohm tank. The capacity, the three mil capacity of this tank, especially if you're doing mouth to lung or even restricted lung, yeah, it's going to last you a really good long time. I mean, 900 mile battery, three mil capacity, doing restricted lung hits. This is, this is like an all day thing. Like I would take this if I was going to Disneyland, or I would take this if I was taking a road trip like down to San Diego, two and a half hours in the car. Absolutely, this is this is what I would take, and it's it's real tasty, real satisfying. That 12 milligram, and look, you can use salt nick in here, you can use freebase nicotine, you can use whatever you want. I use freebase nicotine. I just use 50/50 PGVG traditional nicotine, 12 milligram, and a restricted lung hit. Ah, oh, it's so good there um if we we're gonna play the aliens game 
or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape is this Lost Vape Orion 40 watt DNA Go all-in-one pod device, something I would seek out and buy. Dude, yeah, I love this thing. Are you kidding me? This is gonna be a thing that's gonna be a staple in my stable of stuff that I have. I always have like like a squonker going, a few drippers going. I generally like having one or two nice sub-ohm tanks going as well. And I do like having some mouth-to-lung, restricted lung stuff. And this is something that I look at as it will not let me down. So far, this has not let me down. I know I can come in here and grab this and get a real satisfying vape in a really small, slick, techy little package. I mean, this is a very, very cool thing. Uh, this is definitely like a next level step up from something like, uh, you know, the Mi One or the Mi Pods or like the Saurins or like those other sort of like a little bit bigger, but sort of mid-grade like pod systems that come with a little bit bigger of a, of a pod, a little bit bigger of a battery. I think Lost Vape has done, uh, has done an amazing thing. They, they have a really good entry into sort of that pod system area and shit man it's rad it's a rad rad little vape that i think is rad and that i am using and that i'm going to continue to use i don't see this going away anytime in the near future you know what i mean there's plenty of rdas that i get where i'm like yeah it's good you're like it's fine i'm gonna vape it i'm gonna vape it for a few weeks and it'll be on youtube and then i'll keep vaping it for a little bit maybe and then it's like other rdas come and then you know these other rdas get retired or put into a shelf or put into a box or something this is something that i genuinely want to keep using this has now become simply a pleasure vape i'm done evaluating it as it were for youtube and uh, this is just going to be something that i just use it's going to be something you know i can't think of a better recommendation than that it's just going to be something i just use and if i didn't have one i would want to buy one You could even do some restricted lung, like six milligram in this, and it would still be a rock and vape. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Look at that. One take, jump cut free. Um, it didn't really give you any super close-ups of it, but it's cool. It's a cool little thing. It's a cool little guy. It's got a very clicky button right here. You can kind of see that AFC right there. You can kind of see the, the juice fill pod system right there. Here's the little release lever that kind of takes, you know, some effort to, to get back in and out. And it's got a real, oh, real firm, firm clicky thing there. Fire button, replay button, release. There's really not much to it. It's just a simple, real slick, little vapey device that uh that i love anyway hope that everybody's good thank you so much for joining me again and yeah as always let's just uh let's keep on vaping